looking forward as you continue to expand the universe, mm -hmm. what are we looking at in terms of uh, another solo mutant movie? Are we doing Gambit? Are we doing um, Mystique? All up in the air. We're figuring it out now, truly. Um, I mean, there's a lot of uh, excitement about coming up with, you know, um, standalone movies. I sort of call it standalone more than spin-off because they don't necessarily spin off from the main line. They can be their own movie. They could be characters that haven't even been in the films before. You're also working, of course, on Fantastic Four. And mm -hmm. now both Fantastic Four and X-Men, they're both, we're the same studio. We're, it's all Marvel. Mm -hmm. Are we going to get them to uh, cross over? It'd be really cool. I mean, they, listen, it happened in the comic books, so there's no reason why it shouldn't happen in movies. Um, again, it's something that we have to figure out because there's a lot of challenges narratively to how you marry the X-Men and the Fantastic Four film universes because they essentially take place in different worlds. When you think about it, if there are mutants in the Fantastic Four world, they're not really that fantastic. Everybody has powers. And in the X-Men world, as we've seen, there's no mention in the movies so far of the Fantastic Four, of a, you know, a known superhero team. So to figure all that out in a way, it will, if, if it comes to pass, will be its own math problem, similar to the math problem of this movie. For breaking entertainment news and more, follow at HitVix on Twitter or visit HitVix.com.